Hey guys, Biff Steele here. Um, I just got a brand new iPhone. The screen is like twice as large as my old one, so this is the first video I was going to shoot. Anyway, I'm still working on the, um, the Tamiya 2.5 ton AHN truck with a 3.7 centimeter flat gun. Um, <clears throat> the truck is all built for the most part, about 90%, 95% still have to put just like small parts on like you can see the headlights um the actual glass and uh the rear view mirror i'm kind of at a standstill because i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to paint it using an airbrush um and not completely destroy the glass i've got tape on the front i, I was starting to tape the sides and as you can see that piece let me get my finger in there that piece is missing it popped off because they, um, they didn't want to stay in place. It, it all stems from when I was building the model. The front piece of the cab, the top section where the windshield, where the, the glass actually goes in, even though it was still on the sprue, it was warped pretty bad. And I had to uh, kind of force the glass in and it, they still aren't in there 100%. If you look real close, they're slightly ajar. And um, it just, I don't know, threw the whole thing off. I thought I was going to be able to build the cab up and then put them in after I had done the final painting by leaving the roof off. But once I started putting it together, like dry fitting, and I realized that that wasn't going to work because you have to put the figures in before you can secure the seats. So I decided to just brush paint the entire interior. Um, but the rest of the model went together very well. Even though it looks like it's completely done, it's still not nearly finished. I don't. I leave the the um, the bed on the on the frame because the fender attachments are very like feather thin. Um, so, but um, the tires even they're they're actual rubber tires and they slide right off. So once I figure out how I tackle the cab, I'm going to. Um, start painting it, doing the black and white effect. I'll hit the whole thing with NATO black or flat black, and then <clears throat> hit it with some white. I uh, also, I wanna mix up a custom color of um, desert paint, like Andy does from Andy's Hobby Lobby. Dark yellow, That re it's recommended that I do XF, I think 60, which is the dark yellow, but that ends up looking greenish. So I'll probably use a combination of desert yellow, which is the XF59, and the um, dark yellow. This is the gun. This is actually, this kit, um, it doesn't say it on the box, but the, the model itself isn't a Tamiya. It's a, a different um, ICA or something like that. The gun is actually a Tamiya kit. It's a different color plastic, but this is 99% built up too. I just have to... Um, put a plate on behind the gun itself. The reason I've left it off at this point is because the gun needs to be obviously gun metal and the rest of the carriage is going to be the same desert yellow that the truck will be. So the gun still slides out. So I want to get it painted up and get the remainder painted and then I'll uh, put it together and attach it. Got the figures coming along. I just painted their, um, their ha uh, hands. I'm not doing the most detail on them because uh, they're actually going to be underneath a canopy, which I had this in place too. This is the very top of the canopy. It's kind of a struggle to get it into place, but it does fit and it fits very well. But I didn't want to glue it in because I started thinking about it. If I had glued it in place and then tried to paint the interior of the, um, the bed, it... Uh, I think it would have been very cumbersome, so I've decided to leave it off until the end. As you can see, that's not on there square, but when it's in place, that, that canopy, there's there would be no way for me to get the airbrush inside, so I would probably end up getting um, too much paint in some areas and not enough in others. So anyway, that's where I stand right now. It'll probably be another week or two before this model is complete, so I'll keep you up to date. As always, happy modeling. Good to talk to you.